Hello everyone and welcome to our new section which is called Binary Search Tree. With this lecture, we begin a brand new section in which you will learn everything about Binary Search Tree. In this section, you will get a deep knowledge about Binary Search Tree which includes creating Binary Search Tree based on linked list and performing various operations like creation, inserting, deleting and searching on Binary Tree data structures. In this first lecture, let's see what's a Binary Search Tree. So let's get started. So in the last section, we have learned what a binary tree is and we have performed various operations on it using linked list and Python list. But in the case of binary search tree, we will perform such operation using only linked list. So if you are interested to use Python list, you can take this as a homework and make it by yourself. So let's see what a binary search tree is. So a binary search tree is a basically a binary tree with additional properties. The first property is in the left subtree, the value of node is less than or equal to its parent's node's value. And now the second property is, in the right subtree, the value of node is greater than its parent's node's value. So this is an example of binary tree over here. So if we look at this binary tree over here very carefully, we can see these properties over here. So as a root node, we have 70 over here. So as a first property, we say that in the left subtree, we have the value of node which is less than root node or equals to root node so in this case you can easily see that 50 is less than 70. now in the right subtree we should have a node which is greater than the value of root node so in this case you can see that 90 is greater than 70. now if you continue to the left subtree over here we can easily see that uh, in this case the root is 50 and in the left node over here, we have 30, which is less than this root node over here. And on the right subtree, we have 60, which is greater than this root node over here. And it continues like this till the end. So here we have root node, which is 30. And uh, as a left node, we have 20, which is less than 30. And as a right node, we have 40, which is more than 30. Now, the same rule is applicable for the right subtree over here. In the right subtree, we have 90 as a root node. And in the left subtree of this right subtree, we have 80, which is less than 90. And as a right child, we have 100, which is greater than this root node over here. So as you see, for this binary search tree over here, so these two properties are applicable. Now you might be interested, why do we need a binary search tree? A binary search tree does not store an index of its data elements. Instead, it relies on implicit structure to keep a record of where each element is. Because of this structure, insertion and deletion of nodes can be achieved very quickly. Instead of traversing every element sequentially until the right one is found, which is how we work with arrays, here we only need to traverse the half tree. Then we continue to the half of other tree, then we continue to the half, half, half. And it continues like this. So I think you get the picture and the result is much faster than in case of straight loop. So this is because binary search tree performs faster than binary tree. Now, with this we have concluded our lecture over here. So now in the next lecture, let's see which operations we can perform on binary search tree.